Alright, back again Luke here, and today we've got another package, and I uh, figured I'd show you guys what I wound up getting in here today. Now, you can probably see already, but uh, it's a few MVS games. And I wound up getting this lot here, or this package, for about 20 bucks. And the main reason why it was 20 bucks is because the game board that I also got with it uh, apparently does not work. So. It'll be a fun little project, but for one of these games alone, it was definitely worth 20 bucks. So, here's the first one. We got King of Fighters 97. The next one here is a Real Bout, got old in sets special. And the last game, which really made this package worth picking up, you can see the, uh, the motherboard there, is Metal Slug 3. So. All of these here, and you can see one, two, three, four, a four slot motherboard for 20 bucks. So, this thing just does not turn on. Um, apparently, uh, it will go through the game check, and you can see the games listed uh, in the system, but just won't turn them on. So, whee! let's uh, put this thing down here so we can open this up. Here we Oh, <laughs> nice little roll over there. <laughs> All right, and there she is, four slot motherboard. So first off, let's see what the bottom looks like. Uh, da, da, da. Mm. Doesn't look like it's too bad. I have to do some uh, double checking here, but doesn't look like there's any major uh, gouges in it. So, let's see. Can we see the battery? The uh, battery just looks pretty dusty. I don't know. Maybe it just might need a good cleaning. Well, let's uh, let's plug this thing in here and see what it does. Put this down here again. this thing all plugged in here so let's uh let's see let's try a couple of uh the games that i know are for the most part cleaned these are some of my other ones say king of fighters 98 or 96 let's try that and new geo cup Stock Troopers and King of Fighters 99. Let's see what it does. Turn this beast on. See if it uh, <clears throat> even attempts to read it or not. There we go. Wow, it's uh, turn it on, huh? <laughs> Let's see if uh, see which games it has in it. Ah, I don't have my test switch hooked up. I can't see. <laughs> Unfortunately, ah, on this cab I don't have my uh, test switch on here. Not my test switch, my select button, so I can't see. But it is playing at least uh, slot four. Let's see, find the volume here. It's got a little bit of some missing sound there. In the background, I can hear the missing sound. But at least it's turning on. Might have to wait for this thing to uh, go through a little bit and see if it cycles.
Yep, so it's definitely got some uh, sound issues here. It's missing some of the sound effects. But, uh, at least one slot's playing on it. I'll go through here and check the other slots. Well, it should try to boot into one of the other slots. We'll see. See if it resets itself or if it uh, goes into the first one again. Okay, well that uh, jumped to Neo Geo Cup 98. So, oh, huh. I don't know. It might not be too bad after all. I'll take it apart here and try and clean it up, but just want to show this uh, to you guys here. Got a uh, Neo Geo 4 slot and three games for 20 bucks. So we'll try and get this thing cleaned up and see what happens after that. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. All right, back here on Luke here. And uh, as you can see in front of me, this is that MVS 4 slot board that I just wound up getting. And I went over a lot of these different traces on the top here. After I got done trying to test it out, I noticed that some of the slots were working and the other ones weren't. And when I would put in a coin and try and select through the different slots, only two of them would work. So I went over some of these traces here. There were some really dodgy looking traces. And... Uh, using some flux and some wire here, especially this one here. This one seemed to be pretty bad. Uh, I went and went over these things and tried to patch them back up here and get them working again. But there were a lot of traces on this board that were pretty bad. They looked like they were ready to uh, just disintegrate. There are a couple more. You can probably see a little bit. But uh, tinned them up a little bit here to try and get them back connected. Uh, I don't know. I think this thing might have been in storage for quite some time or just uh, abandoned for a little while because there were a lot of a lot of different traces on here that just looked really bad but uh, that was for the top part of the board for the bottom part of the board here there were some sound issues so I wasn't getting any sound with this thing so I went and I replaced these caps here and there's a bridge right here I don't know if you guys can see this one or not right here it's a, just a little post and uh, that thing was really rusted and sometimes if there's uh, rust on this one which I found on my other four slot boards this small little bridge here can be the difference between getting the sound back and not so I went back over that and tinned up both sides there to make a good contact and yeah once again there are some rough traces I mean you can probably see here this one right in the middle uh, right there it looks like a dash mark right um, that's the way some of these things looked and I, I've scraped away at the top of them and although they're a little bit discolored I mean they're they're ready to kind of dissolve but not quite there yet so I might have to go back over that one one more time but there's some other traces on here where I went back over it and tried to tin them up a little bit and get this thing going so yeah this thing's uh, ready to rock right now so let's put this thing back together I got the MVS U4 here that way we can select through the different games but let me plug this thing back in and this might be better that way you guys don't have to stare at a floor alright so plug this in here that in. Get the top part of the board back on here. One, two, and that side's not going down. Let's see here. Looks like one of the pins might have bent. Ah. Good job.
need to be more careful when I line this thing up here. There we go. There's that. There's that. Just getting this thing off by just a little bit. I'll end up uh, bending a pin. There's one. There's two. I, uh, I cleaned these carts up here too with some steel wool, so hopefully they should be alright. Um, they shined up pretty nicely, but let's give this thing a shot here. Yeah, you can hear the sounds working pretty good. So we got all those notes back. I guess we'll just watch the intro for King of Fighters 97. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Robot Special, there's Stakes Winner, and Metal Slug 3, so everything seems to be working out alright, but yeah, just want to share this with you guys here, kind of make a short little vid to show you what's going on, but uh, nonetheless, it seems like it's working out alright, and yeah, that is about all for me for right now, like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Listen, one.